my sweets i'm just getting in from restaurant depot i bought a box of tomatoes ginger i also got some garlic red bell pepper green bell pepper and a bag of onions yes i bought a lot i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well i actually stopped by little to pick up the green bell pepper and basil because i already have some green bell pepper and i didn't need a lot so what i'm going to do now is to throw everything into my sink which is nicely washed by the way and i'll spray it with some of my vinegar leave it to rest for a bit and i'll come back to wash it thoroughly but i'll spare you all that see y'all later Later. now that we have everything nicely washed let's do this so what i usually like to do is to begin cutting my tomatoes set it on fire to begin cooking and then i'll be adding the rest gradually because that kick starts the cooking process if i choose to cut everything before i start i feel like that will take away from time that i don't have also i will not be using any water in this recipe so as the pot heats up and steam begin to form the tomatoes are going to release their natural juices because these tomatoes are super juicy so i do not need to add any water at all now if your tomatoes need water you may go right ahead and add some but these ones right here they are good so i'm just going to cut some tomatoes add my onions and some of my sweet peppers to it and begin cooking cut the rest and keep adding as it cooks <laughs> So this right here is enough. I'm going to get started with this. Then I'll finish cutting up the rest of my tomatoes. So I just set it on fire and cover it up on high heat because I want steam to create quickly. There's just a little bit of juice from the tomatoes on the bottom. So it'll begin to create steam immediately. And now this is my last batch that I'm adding. My pot is almost full and i just want to move it so you see the juices coming out already and that's exactly what you want so i'm just going to cover this and allow it to cook for about 20 minutes and checking on it periodically to ensure that it doesn't burn okay i have some visitors in the kitchen <laughs> all right y'all so as you can see my veggies are sinking and the juices are rising so that is what i'm talking about my tomatoes are so juicy i didn't even have to add a drop of water to this and it's looking good and i'm going to keep stirring and i'll allow this to cook about 70 percent of the way so this is going to sink down a whole lot now if i don't let this cook longer once i blend i'm going to continue cooking but because i'm going to allow it to cook for a longer period of time once this is cooked i am done all right so don't forget to stare at this point i'm going to cook it on medium heat because i don't want it high i don't want it to burn i want it to cook slowly until all the veggies are nice and tender especially the skin
as you can see our tomato sauce is coming together beautifully so i'm just going to give it a good stir and continue cooking it on covered and also on medium low heat now covering it will allow moisture back in the sauce and at this point i just want the moisture out i don't want it back in my sauce Do you see all the juice that's around these veggies? Oh my goodness. It's amazing that there's no water in this stuff. Meanwhile, I'm going to begin prepping my ginger and garlic. I'm only using half of this um, ginger. But yeah, if you don't want to add this, you don't have to but i love 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 it it makes my tomato sauce just perfect in case you come home you don't have any onions you don't have anything in the house you can use just this sauce to make a whole stew and you will be good okay so i cut it in little pieces to help my blender because if i cut them longer at times you may end up with stringy parts from the ginger in your sauce and we do not want that we want it nice and smooth you may be wondering why then my ginger and garlic and basil go in yet adding it from the beginning will cause them to lose their flavor and fragrance not completely but you will lose some but when you add it in the end because you will be cooking it again in your recipe it helps maintain the flavor when you bottle can however you choose to preserve this that fragrance stays in there and it makes your sauce taste absolutely delicious once you cook it it may die down a little bit but not completely but not if you had started with it where you will lose it completely so that is why i choose to do it this way as for the basil i just give it a rough chop i'm chopping them into little pieces you may chop them bigger or you can even blend it if you want it to be smooth i just want to see the little specks in it so yeah do it the way that you like our sauce looks absolutely amazing you can see from where it was and how much it has cooked down the juices have thickened up around it it is absolutely perfect so what i'm gonna do now is to blend everything together and we will be done so in my blender i have my ginger and garlic already in there i put it on the bottom so it'll blend better and i'm just adding some of the sauce because it's hot it will cook it quickly and then we'll pour everything back in a pot leave it overnight to cool completely now if you have containers that you'll be putting these in i suggest you wash them get everything ready before you go to sleep so by tomorrow you can just go right ahead and pack them up if you don't have containers you can also tie them up in little um twist tie bags whenever i ran out of containers that's what i do so i just blend everything nice and smooth you may blend it to your preferred consistency i repeat the process until everything is nicely blended So I just want to show you all what the consistency looks like and the reason why I like to cook my tomatoes before blending it. That way it helps your blender a lot in blending the skin. If I blend it before cooking it, I may still have some of the skin in it. But doing it this way helps the skin melt totally into the sauce and it is absolutely perfect so i'm just going to continue blending everything but i have to transfer this into the bigger pot because i still have more to blend and i don't want to have all these little pots all over the place all right y'all we are all done with the blending process but before we allow it cool i'm going to add in my basil and i'm going to stir everything in beautifully once i do that i'm going to leave it uncovered for about 
three hours to cool completely i like to make my sauces in the evening that way i'll leave it out overnight and it'll be completely cooled by tomorrow good morning everyone it is another beautiful day our containers are nice and ready our sauce have cooled down completely just look at how nice and thick it is just beautiful so i'm just going to scoop it into my containers and we will continue in case you're wondering i picked up these containers from the dollar tree they were like three for a dollar i think they had an extra one when i bought them but they're usually three containers with the lids for one dollar you cannot beat that <laughs> so yeah we're just going to scoop everything in the containers and store them As you can see we are almost done but it's still a little bit more left in my pot but my ladle is unable to scoop it out so my spatula to the rescue because I am not wasting anything everything have to come out of that pot yes because that right there can make a whole jollof rice okay <laughs> yes y'all and as you can see then you're not seeing me king 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 nice and clean everything is in here these containers are my favorite they stack and store better in my freezer it does not take as much space as the round ones i love them and like i said dollar tree go get yours i hope you're gonna give this tomato sauce a try especially if tomatoes are in season wherever you are thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini ochemi sweete maha bye y'all Sweet Ajay, ah.